Treating trauma in the Austin Police Department, the staff psychologist is starting a new study to help officers and 911 call takers reprocess traumatic memories. KXAN's Chris Davis shows us how she hopes to create a treatment program for police departments across the country. Adam Fatengo. In her 23 years as a dispatcher for Austin Police, Temper. one memory sticks out to Kathy Yarbrough. I did have an officer killed uh, June 2nd, 1995. 7 o'clock in the evening. Uh, he was hit by our drunk driver. She says she felt responsible for sending him on the call. And it took me months to not have nightmares because all you could hear was the other officer screaming. Now the city is funding a study to test a different kind of trauma treatment. It'll focus on dispatchers and 911 call takers, at least to start. The analogy would be like a carpenter who's using a hammer and a screwdriver who all of a sudden gets power tools. APD psychologist Dr. Kara Logan has used the treatment with Austin officers since 2003. It's called EMDR eye movement desensitization and reprocessing. See, trauma memories work differently from normal ones. They're stored with the emotion, the images, the sound of the moment. So when you remember it, it's like it's happening again. EMDR asks a patient to talk about what happened and uses any kind of back and forth stimulation. I say, okay, I would like you to follow, move your eyes back and forth by following this. And that movement, whether it's your eyes or maybe some kind of touch, helps your brain engage with and then reprocess trauma memories more normally. Dr. Logan hopes the study will encourage other departments to use the therapy. Yarbrough is hopeful. They're recognizing that it does take a toll, uh, just like it does with police. Chris Davis, KXAN News. The study will test 30 dispatchers and call takers using EMDR and 30 using another common type of trauma treatment. Once the results come in, Dr. Logan hopes to seek out a bigger grant to formally study the process with police officers. This study is one of eight IDEA Accelerator projects the City of Austin's Office of Innovation is funding. They are all proposals submitted by city employees with the goal of helping the city run better. One is a challenge to create, discover, or adapt technology to make cycling at night safer in Austin. Another is to create virtual reality training for EMS staff on the city City's emergency bus, which is used for large-scale medical emergencies. Yet another is to create a safe and secure system for electronic signatures for city contracts. Right now, reams of paper are printed and shipped back and forth across the world because the city does not have a way to e-sign or accept e-signatures for its contracts.